Um, Mr Deputy President, I rise today to highlight an issue fundamental to the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party, one that the National Party are hoping will simply go away. Um, that issue, Mr President, is that of the National Firearms Agreement with last year's Council of Australian Government's COAG meetings. Changes to the National Firearms Agreement were quietly released online last month with no announcement from the Federal Government. These National Firearms Agreement changes need to be ratified in the New South Wales legislation before they come into effect. That's because the Federal Government has no constitutional authority over firearms other than customs. This, by the way, is why the former Prime Minister Tony Abbott banned the importation of the Adler A110 lever action shotgun as part of a fear campaign against all lever action uh, firearms after the Lint Cafe siege. Abbott had to be seen to be doing something, and rather than tackling the difficult issue of illegal firearms trafficking, he chose yet again to penalise the, uh, the licensed law-abiding firearms owners who are doing the right thing. It didn't matter to him that the madman, Man Haron Monis, um, uh, was, uh, was not deemed a fit and proper person to hold a firearms licence, was using an illegally sourced firearm, and that the illegal firearm he was, he was using wasn't even a lever action. The demonisation of licensed law-abiding firearms owners, many of whom are farmers, using them as a normal part of their business, recreation and culture, has been inherent in the National Firearms Agreement since 1996. The National Firearms Agreement assumes that every licensed firearm is just waiting to become an illegal gun in the hands of a criminal, and every shooter is just waiting to be a criminal, or worse, run amuck like that lunatic Martin Bryant. The reality couldn't be further from the truth. Before the Orange by-election, Police Minister Troy Grant was doing everything he could to pretend to be the friend of firearms owners and farmers by appearing to start a campaign against bans on the Adler A110. While Mr Grant and the Nationals were trying to cover their own failings to stand up to the Liberal Party, we knew that they were just pretending, and the truth has come out uh, by now. What happened was Mr Grant was going to roll over for the Liberal Party as soon as the Orange by-election that elected Philip Donato was over, and that this pretend fight was hiding much bigger changes to the National Firearms Laws. One change that the National Firearms Agreement noted uh, by my office was a subtle change in the wording of requirements for people obtaining a firearms licence using the legislative genuine reason, inverted commas, recreational hunting slash vermin control. Right now, applicants can obtain this licence either by seeking a permission from a landowner when getting their licence or by membership of a registered hunting organisation. People with the latter category seek a landowner's permission before hunting or pest, uh, for hunting or pest control uh, using their licence to show that they are of good character and have undergone firearm safety training and monitoring. The change to the National Firearms Agreement mandates that all applicants will need a landowner's permission before obtaining a licence. Being a member of an approved hunting organisation won't be enough. My concern is that this will lead to farmers being inundated with people seeking permission to shoot on their land, people they don't even know and can never possibly accommodate. This change may, take, may uh, make Malcolm Turnbull and Troy Grant feel like they're being tough on gun crime, but all they're doing is pretending, while making it harder for people doing uh, already the right thing. I will be addressing more changes directly over the coming weeks, but I notice that the government couldn't provide a straight answer to my colleague Robert Brown's question yesterday on whether New South Wales will just blindly follow COAG's recommendations for the National Firearms Agreement. The Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party won't sit idly by while the Liberal and the National Party take out their anger on law-abiding firearms owners in another dummy spit because we've annoyed them. I know the firearms issues are important to the government and that they're hoping they will simply go away, but I won't let that happen. Not on my watch, Mr Grant.